today we are so happy to have electrophysiologist Dr. Monica Lowe here to explain what ablations are. And thank you so much for coming in Thanks this morning. Really me. appreciate you stopping by explaining this. Uh, first, let's talk about your title. You know, we talk a, a lot of times with cardiologists to come yes. in here. What do you do as an electrophysiologist? So electrophysiologist, we are cardiologists. Yeah. Um, so, but after the cardiology fellowship, we do a couple more years of training. Okay. Um, specializing in heart rhythm disorders. So the electrical part of the heart. So if people have slow heart rates and we implant pacemakers, if they have deadly arrhythmias and we implant defibrillators to maybe shock their heart, and then ablations. So if people are born with abnormal electrical circuits, we can go in and find that circuit and either cauterize, burn, or freeze and get that um, basically a cure. Wow. So We talk a lot about heart muscles. You guys yes. talk more about the electric yes. pulses yes. that make the heart go. And you mentioned ablations. How do they work? So with ablations, usually it's a, nowadays they're minimally invasive. Okay. So we start um, basically IVs, big IVs in either the leg veins or the leg arteries, and then we put catheters into the heart. So whereas the people, when they, interventionalists, when they put in stents, you know, the catheters, you inject some dye, but the catheters that we use have electrodes that can pace the heart muscle to create these impulses. Okay. And we basically try to trigger the, um, different arrhythmias and localize where the circuits are and then basically cauterize and get rid of it. Do you have to ever repeat any of those procedures? Um, sometimes we do, depends on the type of the arrhythmias. So if it's an SVT or atrial flutter, a very straightforward circuit, it's one of the cures that we do in medicine that can get people off of medications. Um, but if it's something like atrial fibrillation, um, it, that's a very different arrhythmia in different people. 70% um, of the time they come from the veins and the lungs, fires abnormal electrical signals, and if that's where someone's electrical, um, the AFib comes from, then great. That means we have targets of deletion. Okay. But if it's not, then that it's a different story, and sometimes we may have to go in and touch up. Okay, uh, what kind of recovery process could someone expect? You said mentally invasive, which sounds great, right? Yes, yes, so definitely, um, the technology has improved so that it's usually just an overnight stay. Oh, wow. And they have to, you know, rest, lie flat for about three, four hours, and they can go home the next day. And the restriction is just no heavy lifting, no more than 10 pounds for about a week, but okay. everything's healed by then. So after so. that, lifestyle changes, you don't have to make too many? Uh, oh, well, maybe better ones, but yes. <laughs> obviously for certain yes. reasons. But so, um, so we still encourage the things that affect, um, that bring on atrial fibrillation, mm -hmm. you know, um, hy hypertension, um, obesity. So we still encourage to adhere to those. But if we're able to get people off of medications from an ablative uh, procedure, they actually have a better quality of life because then they don't get the side effects of the medications. Okay, interesting. So it's a better quality of life. Moving forward, and that's what everybody's yes. hoping for. What do you think makes uh, the EP program different over at Arkansas Heart Hospital? So we have a lot of patients, a lot of volume, mm -hmm. and I think that is because our staff is very well trained and very dedicated to patient care. Um, and we perform an incredible amount of um, procedures and with really good outcomes, safety, okay. um, safety outcomes, and um, and we have good surgical backup for us. And our CEO, Dr. Bruce Murphy, um, is very um, innovative in the sense that he always brings new technology to the hospital. So right now, actually, um, we're performing a um, epicardial. Um, VT ablation, um, which we are not doing as much in the state, but we're hmm. trying to expand that program. Okay. So there's a electrophysiologist who's doing that currently. Incorporating those new technologies yes. to help the patients here in Arkansas hopefully get a healthier living afterwards. And if you have any questions, you can always contact Arkansas Heart Hospital. The information is on your screen. If you have any questions, concerns, or if you'd like to set up a consultation, go over there and talk with someone. You can certainly talk with physicians and doctors who are happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much, yes. Dr. Lowe, for coming in here, answering our questions this morning. Appreciate it. And uh, always fascinating stuff.